uploaded this video a couple days ago. It's called uh, Smoothie Challenge. Gross, or Six Kid Gross Smoothie Challenge. Ethan hasn't watched it yet. Malia hasn't watched it yet. Brush your teeth. Took a really long time editing it. Dang. Took me like three days. It was like freaking two hours of footage of them talking and yapping and being bad kids. And I almost didn't want to edit this video at all because it was stressful even just editing it. Right here. <laughs> Yay, I'm awesome. Oh my God. I'm awesome. We're ragging on Ethan because uh, in this video, he's like in the background. And this is the kind of crap I had to edit through when I was editing this, this <laughs> flick here. But watch, watch Ethan in the background. It's on this next clip right here. Look, right there. <laughs> oh, you got it. It's right here, look. That's awesome. Oh, I'll watch it again. You can slow away, right? Right? Pause. Like that. Sweet. I'll see <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I've never seen this before, but you know, we have a lot of garage sales here in our area every weekend because it's always warm. And usually, you know, some people put signs like in front of their streets. Well, these people did something a bit different and unique. They're actually standing out there with signs directing traffic to their garage sale. And she's dancing. And this chick is dancing. She's really uh, moving over there, stopping traffic. <laughs> no one's coming though. It's kind of scary. Well, I took a little girl too. What is all this tra- oh, there, um, <laughs> there's a detour, so there's like a lot of traffic coming this way. We're gonna go get some lunch together. And I don't know, you guys should pick something from the dollar menu. <laughs> if you guys have children or you're thinking about having children, more than one, just remember that after a couple of years, they want adult meals. They don't want little kitty $1 meals. They want to eat like you. When they were little, we used to be able to buy like one thing and like split it. They could split it. <laughs> Now, they all want like top-notch five-star dinners <laughs> and sometimes I gotta sneak out of the house and eat by myself. What are you eating? Is that what you're eating? There's Waldo's cousin. Because you're in the background, you can have a look at my phone. Come on. What do you think it is? I say sixty-four dollars. What is it? Seventy. Wow, that's cheap. Oh, and we got a lot of food. They got ice cream. She's got mandarin oranges. And Malia's got what? Ice cream? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened? Ew, you Ariel ate one. It's like, yeah, they're so good. Ariel, yeah, they're so good. You put wonton soup in her mandarin oranges. If I could open my fortune. What does it say? Soon you will meet a very beautiful woman. <gasps> oh no! That's no, I'm just kidding. 
You must experience failure to appreciate success. Wow. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's really good. And that I have failed many times. Many, many, you will fail a ton of times before you are successful. Doesn't mean that you quit. You keep going. And then you'll win. Say something. You are a really annoying kid. You should go poop on yourself. Okay. Shh. There's Your people secret eating. desire. <laughs> 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 Could you imagine if they said that? You're a really annoying kid, you should go pull by yourself. <laughs> I mean, if I'd be in a restaurant, I'd probably make that. Okay, okay. what does it say? Your secret desire to completely change your life will manifest. Come on. Force equals too much, effort equals too little, pain equals enough. What? Wait, let me read it. This is it. Yes, it is. Don't need strength to let go or zombie thing. Zombie? Read it. You don't need strength to let go of something. What you reality need is understanding. It says, when love and skill work together, expect a masterpiece. That's Zuga. That's Tyler. Zuga. <laughs> I like mine. Your desire to protect the people around you is appropriate. See? Uh -huh. See what? You need to learn to listen. Oh, that's true. It's appropriate. <laughs> So, what are those for you? <laughs> you know you like them. You know you like them. $140 for those? $110. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can spend all your Christmas money on them. What? And the ugliest shoe award goes to... <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I think the fish shoes are uglier and more expensive. I don't know. These are weird. Look, come here. Come here. Oh, yeah, look. They look like elf shoes. Guys, look okay, these are pretty cool. If they had them in my size, I would definitely buy them. Yeah. This little boy lost his mommy. I'm trying to I'm trying to help him find his mommy. He was kind of crying. Come on, King. Uh, he was like, "Mommy." Right here. Come on, mommy. Thank you. You're welcome. Did you find your mother yet? That's, that's so creepy. <laughs> hey little kids, why are you running away? Come back. <laughs> Alright, leave him alone. Did you find your mother yet? <laughs> you guys don't like toys anymore, do you? Oh man, I love Skylanders. Like, I can die for that one. Don't you want to die? Comment down below. I miss you guys liking toys. <gasps> that looks really cool. Oh. Comment down below if you like that guy. Here. I'm gonna buy you a toy. Oh my gosh, you're the best. I'm gonna buy you some Play Doh. Can I get this one? <laughs> sure. Did you find your mother yet? <laughs> say it like it, like say it low. Did you find your mother yet? Did you find your mother yet? My turn, wait. Did you find your mother yet? Oh gosh. <laughs> okay. That's scary. That's stupid. Hey, sing a song. Okay. Hmm, let's see. Thinking about getting these glasses, what do you think? I wonder if it comes with this thing. <laughs> Looks like a whistle. Can you blow my whistle, baby? Oh boy. You can leave the whistle on the sunglasses. You like that hanging up your nose? Okay. Got a new selfie stick. Check it out. You don't have to be so close to me anymore. Uh -huh. Hey, buddy. 
So you're just gonna have to talk louder, okay? Yep. I'll have to fart louder too. Oh my gosh, are you serious you just did that? I kind of destroyed my new monopod slash selfie stick. It had this little cord dangling and I didn't like it, so I pulled it out. There you go, you could have it. We were watching your videos last week. Cool, what video? The one where you helped the lady on Valentine's Day. Okay, that, that video is awesome. That's a good one. That, that's you gotta watch our the YouTube challenge now. I also oh, like we did the smoothie challenge. You gotta watch it. I saw the um, one where he was in the yeah, McDonald's drive-thru. Yeah, that's my favorite one. one. Like, yeah. that was like, that was my cool. grandma was here, she brought the Browns to the Super Bowl. <laughs> All right, so I'm here on Facebook. Periodically, I like to check some messages here and there and see what's going on with some of my fans. Sometimes Melissa checks for me. She's been doing a lot more because I've been editing a lot of video footage and working on my my bigger channel and doing other stuff and working too, so I stay kind of busy. But every once in a while I like to look at messages and I'm not sure if my wife had read this message. I don't ever check them. You don't check the messages? No. Well this was sent to my Omar Gosh TV Facebook message and I have to tell you that when I read it for the first time and I, I didn't have a camera close by. I would have vlogged it, but I had tears in my eyes. Okay, I'm only gonna say his first name, but his name is Tyler, and I'm gonna read you the message. I really love y'all's vids. I watch them every night when my mom and stepdad are fussing and fighting, which the fuss a lot like every day. I just go in my room and watch y'all. Really helped me because when I am sad, my mom and dad are fighting, and when I get upset and watch, and y'all make me laugh. I wish my family was like yours. You have the most amazing family, but if you don't want me to call, please call me. Okay, I'm gonna call I'm gonna call Tyler right now. And I want you to join in on the phone call and say hey with me, okay? Yeah, is this Tyler? Yeah. What's up, buddy? This is your friend Omar. Hello? Omar. No, it's Omar Gosh. Oh, I, I know. How's it going, man? You, you left me your number like, I don't, I don't know when it was. It was like a few days ago. Or actually, it was on November 10th. So I'm sorry it took me a while to call you back. But, um. It's all right. How, how you oh doing, God. man? Hey, your, 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 your message like made my day. Really? Yeah, it really did. It actually, it. It actually made me cry, to be honest. It did? Yeah. Your family like sometimes gets in arguments and stuff and and yeah. my videos make you feel better and it it kinda reminded me I don't know how old are you, Tyler? Thirteen. Thirteen, okay. Well when I was your age, my parents were getting a divorce. And really? Yeah, so I mean it kinda like reminded me of, of me when I was a kid. And oh. I don't know. I, I um I read I read your message on my vlog. Actually, I got you on my vlog right now. If you want to say hey. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> there you go. And it really and it really makes my day because whenever my parents fight and stuff, I just I just go in my room and I said I don't want to hear it all the time, and it just really makes me sad. Oh, well, I'm I'm really happy that I could I could bring some uh, happiness to your life. It really means a lot to me. I, like I said, I, I went through the same thing. I mean, I, I don't know exactly what you're going through, but my parents used to fight a lot, and um, it was real stressful yeah. in my house. And you're you're gonna see, man, when you get older and you have a family on your, of your own, you're you're gonna be a really good dad. Yeah, I I see that because whenever my stepdad like gets in touch with my mom, I don't like it, and I just told myself like. I wouldn't be that person. I would never like hit a woman or do any of that kind of stuff. I would always treat my woman right. All right, bud. You have a good night. Nice meeting you. You too. All right. You take too. care. Bye bye. Bye. That was so cool right now. He was super happy. All right. So Tyler seemed really, really excited. I'm glad I made his night. He made my night. Well, he made my my day when I read his message. But hey. 
Love you. Call me, text me. Don't give my number out to anybody, okay, man? I'm just kidding, but hopefully one day we can meet in person, Tyler. All right? Keep your head up, bro. Have a good night, fams. You guys can send me cool messages too, all right? You better. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs>